Yeah, hello to all my friends out there. Um, I just wanted to show you a quick video in regards to how things were done before electronic speed controllers and, you know, the modern day age of 2.4 radios and lipos and all those sorts of things. Uh, you know, speed used to be contro controlled via a servo. Uh, there were v very uh, many different ways of uh, controlling your speed via mechanical speed controllers, but in this case, you would have a plate uh, which is three step forward three step reverse some did come with a single step reverse but i don't think any of them ever came with anything like a brake so that was the day um yeah so it was run off a servo so you had obviously a steering servo but you also had a throttle servo um and in this car you actually had resistors that carry the extra load uh, on this on the plate which uh is how you got uh, the lower speed so um, as it worked the uh, the plate would redirect some of the electricity to the uh, resistors which would of course give you a slower speed motor yeah I, I'm sure there's more technical ways to describe it out there but that's the best I could do for right now but back in the 80s that's how things were and it's um, when I started with my first Optima that's the way it was so okay so this Viper has been set up for running duties and to be honest I wanted to make it as period correct as I possibly could with what I have um, now albeit this might be a um, a nickel metal hydride pack um, they did come uh, back then as a NICAD stick radio for this car and uh, radio battery what am I saying as you can see here we've got the battery that runs through the middle of the chassis there uh, and what I've got here is back in the day you had the the crappy plastic Tamiya plugs which are still around nowadays uh, surprisingly I don't know why because they used to melt together but uh, I in the, I used to use back in the day was these Dean's four pin plugs and you know they were tricky to use but they were uh, certainly better than the plastic plugs back then but as you can see here from the battery you know there are four pins you've got two for the negative and two for the positive Okay, um, moving on, we've got, uh, in this car, I'm using a 29 megahertz EX, KO EX5 radio set, uh, which was back then quite a, quite a nice little radio. Um, these people still like them now, but, uh, you know, obviously they don't have 2.4 and they've got very minimal adjustments, but they are pretty standard and they do still work. So, yeah, with this Viper here, it's fitted with a BEC unit, which is... Uh, amongst the switch there which essentially uh, protects the car from running away when you get low power and it basically diverts the last of the power to the steering rather than the throttle um, and usually it made the car stop <laughs> I can't remember everyone always having the same success but yeah it's the way it was um, you know these cars in these radios with the uh, old 29 megahertz and it was 27 or 75 there's 40 I'm pretty sure or 40 I don't know but Anyway, we used to have crystals back in the day, and uh, here's an old box of my crystals, and, you know, we used to run off a frequency chart, and essentially you had to have a pair of crystals, so you'd have a, a crystal which was for the transmitter, and another one was for the receiver, and they were specific to both the, the receiver and the transmitter, so yeah, they, they had to go in one way or the other. Okay, so I'm actually going to fire this thing up. Um, I'm going to try and put this phone somewhere for a second while I, uh, well... I don't know if I can, but let's see if I can sit that there and plug in the battery. Essentially, there it goes together. I'm going to put the car up on a stand. Uh, of course, back then, you always had to turn on the radio first. And we did have earrings. That's the way it worked. Uh, and then on would go the car so yeah right by now you'd be ready to put this car on the track um, but to give you an idea of uh, you know um, how this speed worked um, as I'm pulling on the throttle you'll see the servo actuate and where are we here Jesus it's hard to do things in one hand yeah. so yeah forward you got three steps forward on this in this case. One, two, three. There's a 
top D. And in reverse. Yeah. Anyway, so basically there's a quick rundown as uh, to how it used to work. Um, yeah, th that was the way things were back then. And, uh, you know, I still love the nostalgic... Um, I don't know, the nostalgicness of it all. Uh, it was fun. You know, things were pretty simple. You could see how things work. You know, you didn't have to be an electronics engineer or you, you weren't about tuning, you know, profiles in speed controllers or, you know, endless settings. I mean, it was just really basic and racing was really done, um, you know, sure there's a bit of pit racing, but, you know, it was a matter of what car could last the duration and uh, who could have the least amount of mechanical failures, I'm sure, is what actually would win your races back then. So uh, anyway, well, thanks for watching. Um, if you like the video, please uh, like, share and subscribe for more videos. And um, in the future, I hope to bring you some more interesting content. Thanks for watching.